Okay, so this is going to be a short video on how you do a uh, borax peroxide treatment. I'm in my laundry room right now because this is where I'm going to bath my dog. Um, all I'm going to show right now is the um, treatment itself, how you mix it. Okay, so what we're going to do is right here, you can hear my laundry uh, going. Yeah, so we take the lid off this. I use a little fruité or fruity bottle or whatever. Let's get the cap off that. You know, prepared. And what you do, the reason why I picked this is because it has these ridges. So we're going to pour the work so it's in there. Okay. So it went just above this ring. So we're going to count. That counts as about a ring because of the depression. So one, two, three. So we're going to want to go another one, two, three up here with the uh, hot water pretty much. You don't want to go scalding hot because you don't want to scald your dog or anything. So I'll lay that down there for a minute. Water's one decently warm. What we're going to try to do here is okay so you can count one two three one two three now we're going to do what was called in our old junior high science classes super saturated solution. Now this is borax I've already got lined out here and it's on a piece of paper so I can funnel it in easier. Now we're not going to need the uh, peroxide anymore. See what it is is this is 3% peroxide. And what we're wanting to do is we're wanting to dilute this to 1%. So Actually, we only put this at 2% then. That means we got to put some more water in. Oops. So, we're going to go on to another one, two, three. Just like that. So, we're going to take the solution from three parts to one part because, you know, two parts water mixes it down. And now, we're going to take the. Uh, Borax. I'm not really going to show you the borax going in because we're just pulling it in. Ooh, the magic is a video production. Translation: My battery ran out. All right, so we've added the borax to the 1% um, hydrogen peroxide solution. Uh, you're going to get some stuff left over in it, but. You're going to want to actually mix this until nothing else can go into the solution anyway. So having some left in the bottom is better than not having any left in the bottom because then you know you might have to add some more. Now, the way this works pretty much is the peroxide is a transmission agent and the borax is the actual um, material that's going to actually find the eggs and the mites and kill them. Now, um, I've read of... I forget what it is now and it escapes me and I'll probably put it in the annotations later. Um, there's something else you can use in place of peroxide. But um, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to spray the dog down. What I did was I just took an X-Acto knife and uh, popped a hole in the top. And uh, what you do is I'm going to prepare it a bather. And uh, I'm actually got, what I use is head and shoulders. The reason why I use head and shoulders is I use it a little bit watered down because where her hair is thick where she's a yellow lab. And um, don't have your water too warm because it's going to irritate her skin. You're going to want this at the most luke. And because, and water down the head and shoulders a bit so it can really work into her hair, into the dog's hair. And um, <clears throat> what this does is um, it'll break up a lot of the oils that are secreted by the mites and by your dog. And it's going to make sure that uh, then there's nothing that's going to be a barrier between your dog and your solution. So a bottle of peroxide is like two bucks. For this. this is a, um, four, a half liter. Um, I think it's like 16 ounces. I don't know, I don't know my conversions. I'm in Canada, we use the metric system. This is a box of borax. This is um, the uh, Mule Team brand borax. I think this was like four dollars at the grocery store. You can see, you know, it's empty now. Um, yeah, just find a container that you know you can do accurate measurements with. If you can't, grab an ex a um, sharpie and make your marks. Now this, like I said, has ridges, so I'm able to actually use this for measurement. 
All right, so have you bath your dog, rinse your dog well, make sure there's no solution, that there's no soap or anything left on your dog. Drain whatever you're bathing your dog in, and you're going to want to soak your dog in the solution from head to toe. Try not to uh, get anything in their eyes. A little bit in the ears won't hurt because the mites sometimes like to infest the ears. If your dog, you know, it's your dog who has mange, just shaking their head a lot, the mites are in the ears, irritating them. Don't rinse. Leave the solution on them. You can pat them down a bit, but my suggestion is wrap, wrap your dog in a towel and lay them down, let the solution go to town. Let them air dry. You're going to want the solution on there for as long as possible. But uh, yeah, that's how you do a uh, borax peroxide solution treatment. Pre-wash with head and shoulders or some other dandruff shampoo, then uh, with the solution. And there you go.